everyone, my name is Mel and I am a serial entrepreneur from New York. I own multiple businesses, but my main business is a custom jewelry company named Melanie Marie. I make all types of custom jewelry that you may have even seen before on some of your faves and different publications or magazines. As you can see, I'm super proud of it. For this Make It Happen series, I will be creating a lookbook for my new collection using Adobe Stock. I love using Adobe Stock because you have access to millions of royalty-free photos and videos. This makes it super easy when creating when trying to find different videos or clips to put in your content. A lot of times as entrepreneurs, you have to wear many hats and the hat that I'll be wearing today is content editor. Using Adobe Stock will definitely give you the upper hand when creating and give your content a professional look. When customers see my lookbook, they would think I paid big bucks to a videographer. Okay, let's get into this creative brief. Today I have to create a video lookbook that promotes your latest collection. Shoot original video of your pieces being modeled by you or your team and edit the video using Premiere Pro. Use Adobe stock assets, music, transitions, graphics, and video to add finishing touches to your creation. Now that I have all the information, it's time to get started on my lookbook. First, I start looking for mood clips to insert into my video to add a bit of a more cinematic feel to it. I start off by going to stock.adobe.com and searching through all of the assets. Because there are millions of assets available at your fingertips, you can use the search bar to add in descriptive words to narrow down your search. Time to find the perfect videos of the sunrise and white sheets to add to my video. Under the motion graphics section, I want to find the perfect dynamic opener. I want something that will display text in ways that will flow with my lookbook, nothing too overbearing or too flashy. This motion graphic template is perfect for me because the font is thin, chic, and modern and can be edited in a way that aligns with my lookbook. I love how this motion graphic template has different fonts available and you could choose the way the words pop up and disappear off the screen leaving the video with a nice visual touch. I will use the filter search to help me find a nice slow instrumental song to finish my video off. When I search my video, I select the filters dreamy, inspiring, and romantic because these describe my video content. I really like editing with Premiere Pro because you have so many tools at your disposal to make your video as creative and professional as you want it to be thanks to the assets. When creating my lookbook, the first thing I did was upload the footage I want to use. Next, I go to the library where I saved my video assets and take the two clips in the opening template I got from stock.adobe.com and add them to my assembly clips for editing. I know I want to add the sunrise first to set the mood for my video, so I highlight and drag all the clips over to the right so I can add in the video first and then I move them all back to the left. After I make a change, I like to rewind a bit before the clip to play it back to see how it looks. The video was imported smaller than the frame, so I will double click the video and just resize it. Next, I will locate my original footage with the white sheet so I can add in my stock footage. I want to go into more detail on the motion graphic templates. This seems like such a small step, but it makes such a huge impact on the end result of your project. The motion graphics are what your viewers will remember after watching your video, so you want to make sure that you find one that fits in line with your project. There are so many to choose from, so you will always be able to get exactly what you need. Once I add it in where I want it to appear, I go in and edit the font, text size, and text effects. After I finish editing, I like to replay it on full screen to see how it looks. And this looks perfect! And here is the final video. Working with Adobe Stock made my creative experience so much easier and I'm so happy with the way my new lookbook turned out. If you enjoyed this episode and want to see more of Adobe Stock's Make It Happen series, head on over to the Adobe Creative Cloud YouTube channel.